We don't do many golf stories on Michigan Replay, but this one we had to do. This past July, former Wolverine coach Bo Schembechler hosted the first annual Millie Schembechler Memorial Golf Classic. Bo's wife, Millie, succumbed to cancer in 1992, and Bo made a commitment that he would do something about it. In talking to the doctors at the University Hospital and checking uh, during Millie's illness around the country, there had been very little research done on adrenal cancer. And it's not like it's going to take an you know, a tremendous amount of money to do it because we already have the facilities here. But we do need a million and a half because we can't get a lot of help from the government on this. So um, um, we decided to raise the money ourselves, and the golf outing is uh, sure a good way to kick it off. And what an event it was. Sports luminaries from the entire country responded to Bo's call. It's hard to say no to Bo, even harder to say no to the cost. And it was clear to all on hand, including Schembechler himself, that everyone had to have a good time. No, he was a snotty, ornery little kid. Yeah, right. We had to, we threw him out of the building on several occasions. Is that true? Pretty much, pretty much. I had to beg to come to Michigan and get a, <laughs> get a scholarship. But uh, sometimes those are the best ones, right? Yeah, right. Those yeah, guys, that's right. There are three or four managers in the whole history of the game uh, that have done what Sparky has done uh, as a manager. And here he is uh, today for a friend, and he has to catch a plane uh, this afternoon to go uh, to the All-Star game. And that, uh, I think, tells a, an awful lot about Sparky and about Bo, the fact that Sparky would do it, and he would do it because Bo asked him to do it. And for all the problems Bo had, this is a man that's always been close to you. I think Bobby says it best of all. Uh, in sports, you might play against each other, and you might compete, and you might yell at each other. But when it comes down, nobody gets in the way of friendship of sports people. Sports people are not in the same society with other people. Sure, it sure as hell beats the media, doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> if we, I had, agree if we had a little of the integrity and the loyalty and the understanding and the intelligence in the media that we have in managing and coaching, the media would be a hell of a lot better. And while everyone did have fun, it was also clear that this was not just a golf outing. It was a tribute, too. Uh, I think it's a great cause, uh, the fact that uh, you're doing it for Bo Schembecker and uh, yeah, you know, Millie uh, Schembecker Foundation for Cancer Research, and I think it's great. And, of course, who can say what, uh, how you value how much Bo has done for the University of Michigan? So, again, uh, most of the athletes uh, understand that, and, and here we are. You know, all he had to do was pick up the phone and ask somebody to come, and I don't think anybody said no. And plus, uh, his wife was always, uh, you know, a good friend of mine, always, uh, you know, wrote me nice letters and supported the Pistons. So. I think this is a great tribute to her. Probably didn't hit me until I saw the marquee across the street driving in this morning with the significance of the entire thing. Uh, she will be missed. I think we all wish we weren't here. And the reason we're here is because uh, Millie, uh, Millie was felled by uh, adrenal cancer. And, and when Bo put out the call, it's, uh, it's answered. And you can see that just by looking around here. And it's uh, what a wonderful way for Bo to, to remember Millie uh, by establishing this golf tournament. It's just, uh, it's heart touching. You know, some of my old guys, I suggested they come. <laughs> He suggested they come. I think it was more of an order, and most of us would have come anyway. And I know, Mo, you were glad to be there and glad to be a part of that because uh, your predecessor had a lot to do with your career, and Millie had a lot to do with it also. Well, there's no question about that, Jim. And it's for a very excellent cause. It's a very fine family and a guy that I think a great deal of, and a lady as well. And if you're interested, the Adrenal Cancer Research Fund is still taking contributions in Millie's name. If you're interested in getting information on how you can contribute to the University of Michigan Millie Schembechler G Adrenal Cancer Research Center, please call 747-BLUE, 747-BLUE, area code 313. Don't go away. Uh, Mo and I will be back. We'll talk about open weeks, which is what Michigan will be facing this week when Michigan Replay continues.